Ukulele and Her New Doll by Clara Louise Grant, pictures by Campbell Grant. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Ukulele. She had a mommy and a daddy and a big brother, and they all lived together in a little house with a grass roof on a beautiful green island in the South Seas. All day long, Ukulele's mommy cleaned the house and washed the clothes and made good things to eat. All day long, Ukulele's daddy climbed the coconut trees and picked coconuts, or he went out on the water in his canoe to spear fish. And all day long, Ukulele's brother played with the other big boys. They shot with their bows and arrows and sailed their boats and did all the things that big boys generally do. And all day long, Ukulele sat on the sand and played with the little wooden dolly that her daddy had made for her. She washed her in a shell bathtub and gave her sand cookies to eat on little shell dishes and built her a sand house with seaweed flowers around it. And when night time came and supper was over, Ukulele took her dolly to bed and hugged her tight until they both were fast asleep. One day there came to the island a big, beautiful sailing ship to trade for coconuts. One of the men from the big ship saw Ukulele playing on the sand with her dolly, and he said, Little girl, I have a surprise for you. And he gave her a beautiful big china doll he had brought from a far-off land. The doll had real hair and big blue eyes and lovely clothes. All day long, Ukulele played with the new doll. She dressed her and undressed her and put flowers in her hair. But she could not wash the new doll in a shell bathtub because water was bad for her. She could not give the new doll sand cookies to eat because sand would stick in her hair. She could not put the new doll in a little sand house because she was much too large. And she had to hold the new doll very carefully because of her beautiful dress. Just as the sun slid into the sea, the big ship sailed away. Ukulele went down to the beach with her mommy and daddy. She took the new doll with her to wave goodbye to the nice sailor man. But when night time came, she put the new doll on the floor, and she took her dear little wooden dolly to bed with her and hugged her tight till they were both fast asleep. The End